What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my hardcore. My name is Potato, and uh, we're going to be continuing our, our renovation spree um, down, not that hallway. I don't know why I went this way. I guess I wanted to check out to make sure uh, how far I went. We did this um, last week, uh, a little bit of this last week as well. What we're going to be doing is um, probably near the end of the video, check out that room, see where it goes. Um, I know it connects to here, but uh, are we going to connect the two? Maybe, possibly. Uh, it is a stronghold. It's supposed to be kind of difficult to work around. We're going to finally get around to doing this room. Um, I'm going to mine it out and uh, and see what we can make of it. Um, I don't think I had any plans for it um, of what's going to be in there. Uh, but we'll, we'll, it, it's it's fine. Right now, we're just doing renovating or renovations um, and we'll, we'll get around to putting stuff inside of these rooms uh, after we're done uh, another thing I want to tackle this episode is this little um, intersection or uh, corner or whatever it is I've decided that um, when I came in here to check it out just a minute ago uh, it would be better if I seal off this wall right here and then we could put a staircase from here that goes up and connects these two rooms that way when you come down you can go right through here and um, and down to that lower level so um, I'm just gonna bust that out real quick just to make sure that there's nothing here that's going to keep us from from doing that so it looks like we have something there okay and we have a floor or something here Okay, I went too far anyways, that's good. So that's gonna be the center. Right there. Alright, so that means we could probably hide that back up. And we don't need to worry about that. Um, so, it seems that uh, last week's video, last week uh, Wednesday, right? I believe it was Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday's episode. Um, a rousing success from you guys. Um, with, uh, as of right now, it sits at uh, 513 likes to 3 dislikes. That's a pretty sweet ratio. Um, considering the normal, I think about 300, roughly. It's like 280 to 300 or so likes that these videos usually get. Um, definitely struck a chord with a couple more uh, extra people than, than normal. So um, I, I just want to say uh, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm happy that... Uh, oh, okay, we were right above this. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, actually, that roof is probably going to be coming down lower anyway, since this, this is going to be a staircase going down. So I think uh, we might actually be alright. Oh, that, that, oh that, that wood... Oh, okay, that's the shared wall wood. Then, what's that wood that we ran across... Oh, is this wood right here? Okay, this block. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I don't, I don't really know where, where else to go with that. I'm, I'm very, very happy to to see that a lot of you were um, were able to connect to that that episode um, more than I previously anticipated. Uh, I thought that my um, my ramblings or my my I don't know, it wasn't a rant. Because I wasn't angry, I wasn't complaining really about anything. Um, at least I don't. I don't feel like I was complaining about anything. If I came off that way, it was completely accidental. Um, we're definitely gonna have to keep this. Um, oh, I need to plug in my headset. My headset just turned off on me. Although that doesn't um, ruin anything for you guys, but Minecraft. Um, I have my volume set to so low. Um, the sound effects and stuff here that the headset just thinks, all right, well, I guess I'm just, you know, you're not listening to anything. I'm just going to turn myself off. And um, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, just real quick. I, I did not think I would hate um, this headset as much as I do, but I do. And um, even though it was on sale and I, I, I didn't pay too much for it considering it's a wireless surround sound headset, um, it was uh, it was a poor decision, but that's okay. Life is about making mistakes, but 
the important thing is is that you must learn from them. So uh, I will not be buying uh, another another wireless headset from uh, from Turtle Beach. Um, that's not to say that Turtle Beach is a bad company. I really really enjoyed my DX11s, the uh, the wired ones that I used for three years, three and a half years. Still working perfectly fine. In fact, uh, Bagetta is now using the headset um, part, and I gave the um, surround sound box to to Terry, who's using it on his uh, X11s, which are now DX11s, because that was the only thing that um, made them DXs was that uh, it had digital surround sound. So. Um, all you had to do was just get that box and boop, your headset went from 2.1 stereo to, um, to just, uh, actually, is it 2.1 stereo? I guess so, because it still would be a sub, yeah? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It went from a stereo headset to a, to a, um, surround sound headset for him, so. Huzzah, I guess. And, uh, I ended up buying these, um, these wireless turtle beaches which is um, based off of their, their new series after the 11s, so I guess they're based off the 12s. It's just kind of, uh, eh, it's just iffy. They're, they, they're not impressive in any shape or form. Um, I feel like my X11s or DX11s actually provided more, um, it, it made it, uh, oh man, there's more fullness to it. That's the word I was looking for, fullness. And uh, these ones just kind of seem, I don't know, they just kind of pass the sound out. So I'm i am pretty disappointed. I was debating between getting these or some Audio-Technica's um, back when I had the, the spare money for, for headsets, but um, should have gone with the Audio-Technica's. I, I don't know why I went with the cheaper Turtle Beaches, well, I probably went with them because they were cheaper, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, you know, you pay you pay the price for for um, uh, well, I mean, they're 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 worth the money, I guess, for what they are. Um, I guess in my head, I was going to use these purely for my Xbox and then start saving up to get the Audio Technicas for PC playing because I don't use the microphone off of the headset aside from when I use my Xbox which I no longer have at this point uh, in time I went and, uh, and traded it in um, to GameStop this last weekend and um, because they were offering an extra 50% for trade-ins and uh, I just found out this morning that they're offering an extra 100% for trade-ins if you put it towards um, next-gen consoles in general. I don't... Uh, Spencer told me if you put it towards the PS4, but I assume that it's probably more than likely for both next-gen consoles because I doubt that GameStop would do anything that slanderous where it's like, yeah, trade in your Xbox 360 if you're putting it towards a PS4. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have... Um, I've, I've reserved myself a PS4. I'm going to be going with the PS4 this gen. Um, but I think I might be falling into my own or an old habit of uh, I'll get the console. I'll play it for a while, but then I realize why am I doing this when I could just be playing the PC game? Because I only got the X Xbox really for exclusives and for, for well, I guess... The guys, they, they didn't really have computers, I guess, that, that could really play Battlefield at the time. So they were all playing Battlefield on the Xbox. And from our experience from Bad Company 2, um, obviously the level of difficulty of players um, increases with, with PC because of the there's such precision with the mouse and keyboard. Um, there's no like leeway or anything like that, so... It was much easier to play the, the game um, on a console, whether it be PS3 or Xbox. Um, so, is this going to be... This should be tall enough. We could put a roof um, up one block. And so, um, when we played Bad Company 2 on the PC after playing it on the Xbox for, for so long, 
We just got wrecked. We were getting sniped across the map from people with LMGs and everything like that, and it was just, it was, it was insane. So, um, and even me, I, I come from a, a, um, I don't, I, I don't even want to use the word professional in any sort of way, even if I have semi-professional in the, in the, before it, um, I played, uh, Counter-Strike, uh, Source, uh, I, I, I wasn't very good at 1.6, so I, I, I apologize to those purists out there, um, with, uh, with a team, and, you know, I used to compete and stuff like that, um, at Counter-Strike, and, uh, I was, I was, I was decent at it, you know, I, I, we, um, we weren't, uh, what was it, Cal-I? I can't even remember, we were Cal-O, um, back when they used that site, I don't, I don't know if that site's still used or not, or whatever, but, um, so we weren't, like, you know, super, super good, but I, I, I we were, we could beat the average player, I guess, and, um, we were called the Hot Dogs, but it was spelt hot dogs like that and um our logo was this uh this wiener dog that we found online that uh had a, a hot dog bun over it and i photoshopped some guns on it and camo helmet and stuff like that um so you know we're super super original and legit and uh that 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 hot dog just you know really threw us over the edge so let's go up here. What what floor is this? I remember the sharing a floor. Ah, okay. All right. So we're completely underneath underneath this thing. Let's just fix the floor while we're here. And um, so yeah, I we we played that. I mean, we had you know um, practice sessions and stuff like that. We played um, every day and had our own server that we could practice on and all of that. MLG Pro stuff. So I've come, I come from a background of PC first-person shooters, and I've always, always preferred a mouse and keyboard to a controller when it comes to shooters. Um, that being said, um, I did play a lot of console shooters as well, and um, you know, I'm not. Uh, man, I am just blanking on words. I'm not a stranger to using a controller to control first-person shooters and stuff like that. Um, so Battlefield was all right for me. It's just I was never on the same level as the, the other guys because they all... That's what they did. That's how they, they consumed their, their first-person shooterness was... Actually, no, we're going to put a roof there. So We're going to double the, um, the height of this just because I want to I hide this. So we're just going to do that. Oh, actually... Maybe we'll just do an outline. Um, so, uh, but for Battlefield 4, now that everybody's all set and uh, and ready to go, because um, they're all able to play Battlefield 3 on their PC now, um, I think Terry's the only one that still doesn't have it. I can't remember. Or does he? I don't. I can't remember. Whatever. Uh, regardless if he does or not, he has a computer that can play Battlefield 3. I know that for a fact. And... Um, so, uh, for Battlefield 4, we're going to be going all PC. And this next gen, I think that we're all going PS4. Um, even though we've all been with Xbox quite literally from the beginning. Well, some people more literal, I guess, than, than others. Give me that block. What are you doing? Stop that. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think I had five years on Potato Orgy. Five year, ten year, um, but I think I made it about six years ago. Because um, there was some time there where I didn't have Xbox Live, so my ten year ran out. Um, yeah, I also found out, by the way, um, something I'm very, very irritated with, which, in all honesty, I, I really should have caught, um, but I just assumed that the system was working for me, not against me. Um, during our um, Modern Warfare 2 days, Alex and I would just um, randomly make a new Xbox Live account to play on there. Kind of to start fresh, because when you play that game, you rank up and you unlock stuff and you have prestiges and stuff. And it just kind of gets boring, and it's nice to go back to when you have nothing and um, 
you know, try try playing it through again. So um, we would make new Xbox Live accounts and uh, give them silly names and stuff and go play online. So uh, a couple of mine were, um, uh, well, we well one one time we made new ones for Battlefield, and everybody was going to make their name. Uh, whatever their name is and goes hard because Alex had one that was Alex goes hard and um, so everybody made theirs and I made one that said potato is hard and um, because it, it was funny and so uh, that was one of them uh, I had Forrest Dumps which was uh, a play on words for Forrest Gump um, then I had Pizza but there was like seven A's and an H at the end. And that was from our Alien Swarm video that I think is only on Alex's channel. I think Terry may have put out one too. Um, but we had like a little little skit in there where I it looked like I was holding a pizza. And that's all I would say. So um, and then uh, I had the one that I used the most was um, I suck at MW2. Which... Um, I enjoyed using because I didn't like playing on the potato orgy tag um, because I think I was like fifth prestige or something like that and it was just nice to be able to be to have a different tag to, to work on and anyways um, when you make a brand new Xbox Live um, gamer tag they give you one month of free gold um, so uh, you would just let it run out of the trial well, for I suck at MW2, I didn't. Uh, once it ran out, I was like, "Oh man, I kind of want to use it again, though." So uh, I ended up putting my card on the uh, on the account and uh, renewed it for another three months. At the time, this was like three years ago, um, and uh, I guess I never turned that off. And so Xbox being, well, I guess Microsoft being. The lovely people that they are um, kept my auto renewal on, and um, so every three months I was being charged twenty five dollars um, from Microsoft. So um, being the very responsible person I am, where I I, I uh, pay attention to my finances and and my expenditures and stuff like that. Um, this was connected to my actual bank account. I've been, I use, I have a PayPal debit card, so I use that as my main, um, main bank, uh, because Machinima pays me through PayPal and stuff like that. So it's just easier for me just to use PayPal and not wait the three days that it takes to three business days to transfer money from PayPal to my actual bank. So, um, uh, I don't pay attention to that bank so much because all I do is pay my car bill, my insurance, um, and it's it's basically straight straight up bills. So um, every now and then, um, since I don't check it too much, and it's only every three months, I would only catch the spent the the money being pulled out at like the perfect times, I guess, because it'd be like when I buy like a new game on Xbox Live Arcade or something. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll spend, you know, 10, 20 bucks on points to buy an Xbox Live Arcade game um, or DLC for something and stuff like that. So I would um, I would just ignore it and be like, oh, okay, that, that must be that going through there, you know. Um, no big deal. Well, uh, I was wrong. <laughs> you know, I, I, I did think, I, I remember catching it one time and be like, I don't remember buying anything from there, though. And I was like, why do I have a $25 purchase from Microsoft on my bank account? I don't remember buying anything. And um, I assumed that my main account, Potato Orgy, uh, which is now Potato, well, it's Potato Orgy like that because they made me change it twice. Um, or three times, I can't even remember now. I, I don't understand how they let me have the name for six years and then make me change it. I understand that if you want to block these types of words for new accounts, but uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm still very angry at it, and it's partially the decision that I made to get away from uh, Xbox, although that sounds kind of silly. 
Um, I did enjoy actually having my name because most sites won't let you have the word uh, orgy in a name. Go figure, right? Um, probably not the, the best decision for me to, to call myself that, I'll, albeit it's funny. That's basically where it stops. It's like, okay, well, we get it. Anyways. Um, so yeah, it's just... Uh, right, I was talking about the my other account. So, long story short, or long story still long, just wrapping up. Um, I had auto renewal on for three years. And every three months, they took $25 from me. And um, I'm very, very angry about that because that's about $300 or so. I didn't do the math. Alex did it for me. $300 that I could have spent, spent towards bills or, you know, the cost of living. Anything else other than uh, Xbox Live Gamer Tag that I haven't used in three years. You would think that they would have some sort of failsafe in there just as a... A thing for the customers. Sure, they can leave it on and be total buttheads about it. But you would think that they would see, hey, this gamer tag hasn't been online for 700 days. But it's still renewing itself. We're still renewing it for it. Maybe we should put a hold on the account suspend their live and stop charging them until the next time they log in and be like hey you haven't logged in in ages and you've been you still have live if you want to continue your live you know pay us now and then you know you continue it but no no they keep it on granted it was partially my fault i just feel that as a service towards their customers if they want to keep people happy and be like, oh, thank you. Because if they would have just stopped it, I would have been so pleased with Microsoft. I'd be, I, I, I probably, uh, I wouldn't have kept it because I don't use the gamer tag, but I wouldn't be as angry about it as I am. But uh, I, whatever, it was my fault, and so it's just that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So that's uh, that's what my last weekend has been about. So. I traded it in. I got rid of it. I canceled the the auto renewal on both my accounts, on all of them actually. I double checked all of them, and um, I I am three hundred dollars poorer because of that. Uh, should we do this wall? I think we should do this wall. Does it share anything with anything though? We're about to find out. Interesting. Oh, well, I kept the top bit around this whole thing, so I'll just keep that going. Um, I don't really know where to go after that. I remember talking about my headset at one point, which led me to why I don't use my console and how I, I sold it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room, guys. I can move this whole thing over one. It's not like it has to be right there, you know? Yeah, let's just do that. We'll just move this whole thing over. That's fine. We'll we got to take this all out anyways. Um, so, uh, I, I should also mention that, um, of the 228 comments, um, on the, uh, the last hardcore, last Wednesday's hardcore, uh, I sat down with my morning coffee and I just read through all of them. Um, you guys are just the sweetest people ever. And, um, it kind of sucks that, you know, like, uh, from from a creator standpoint, 
um, a lot of our audiences, and I, I'm, I'm generalizing everybody that, that does this either for a living or just as a hobby, um, that we don't get to hear from a lot of you guys because um, a lot of you guys, including myself, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm a victim of this as well. I don't comment on a lot of videos either. I, I, I like to consume it and uh, I support um, uh, uh, the people I watch letting the ads roll. I like videos and stuff like that for those um, who follow my likes. I, I think they are public. Um, uh, you could see, you know, I, I, I do like a lot of videos. I've been the, the new Game Grumps thing with, um, with Zelda, the NES Zelda thing, I'm, I love it. That's, I'm, I've been having so much fun watching Danny and Aaron play through it. Well, Danny play, th play it and, and Aaron kind of hold his hand um, through it. Because um, that's definitely a game that I've never beaten myself. Um, I, I I like to think that I'm a I'm a uh, I I guess I I can't really say I'm a big Zelda fan because I've only played like two or three of them. Actually, I think only two of them all the way through. Link to the Past uh, numerous times. And oh, you gotta be kidding me! I, have I only played Link to the Past all the way through? having this weird sudden realization that um yeah because we were playing Majora's Mask yeah no is it Majora's Mask or was it Ocarina of Time no we were playing Ocarina of Time um on live stream uh Terry was was coming over and he was he was watching me play it and stuff like that because I've never played it um so we thought it would be fun to to stream me failing at it and uh, I was doing a fantastic job, by the way, failing at that game. And, um, okay, so we move this over. All right, we're good. That was easy. And um, we are having a lot of fun with it and stuff like that. And Because it, it hasn't been a game that I've been able to beat because I didn't grow up with uh, a Nintendo um, 64, I should say. I, I really need to clarify that. I shouldn't, shouldn't have paused where I did. Um, I didn't grow up with a Nintendo 64. Um, I had a, I had an NES. I had the first Nintendo. I had a Super Nintendo. Uh, played a lot of Super Mario World and um, and Yoshi's Island. Or is it? Yeah, yeah, it was Yoshi's Island. I'm I'm confusing myself here. And um, a lot of those games. But when it came to the the decision, I remember I remember very clearly on my tenth birthday, my parents were like, "Hey." We're going to go to Toys R Us and we're going to buy you a PS1 or a Nintendo 64. You get to choose. The power's in your hands, Dwight. And I'm like, damn, that's a lot of responsibility for a 10-year-old. And so uh, when we were at Toys R Us, um, I kept like weighing it in my head because this was a big decision as a 10-year-old. Um, I was like, man, I don't know what I should get. I mean, my cousin... I think I was 10. I probably should do the math on that. When did those come out? 96, I think. I didn't get it when they first came out. I was born in 88, so at 96, I wasn't 10 yet. So maybe I maybe it wasn't until 98. I don't know. I don't know when they came out. Whatever. I was around 10. It was just, you know, for for the sake of the story. I was 10 years old. And um, I remember my little cousin, he had a Nintendo 64. My good buddy Nick, down the, that lived down the street from me, he had a Nintendo 64. And I remember playing all those, and I'm like, man, this is awesome. But I remember my dad saying, he's like, you got to weigh your options here. You either play a Nintendo 64 that uses cartridges, and they, they won't scratch you know, and they'll always work. Uh, or you can move to CDs, which were new at the time, by the way. Not new, they were becoming popular at the time. Um, I was I was kind of, my mind was blown as a kid because I was just like, oh man, I've been using cartridges for, for years, you know? And I, I thought to myself, I was like, I want to be a part of the future, you know? These CDs things, these things are super future. I, I would say things like that all the time. Super future because it sounds cool. 
and it still sounds cool right now and you all should you all, you all should say it's super cool um and super future and stuff like that and um so i thought to myself it's like if i get cds that means i have to take care of them i have to to make sure that they don't get scratched because if they get scratched i can't play them anymore and the guy that was working there at the time made that very clear to me as a kid as like these if these get scratched they're not going to work anymore but if you get the cartridges um you'll be fine because they they can't get scratched and um you already have experience with them and stuff like that and i even think that i asked is like do i have to blow in the cartridges to make them work because that was the thing you had to do with the nes and even the super nintendo every now and then i don't think it actually ever did anything for that but um still i think we're gonna have to take down this wood this wood isn't gonna work so um yeah uh i was just like okay cartridges is old and busted because i've been using them for years and years if i move to cds that means it's better because it's cds it's not it's not cartridges um so i thought that the cds were better because the nintendo's always used the cartridges why why wouldn't they go to cds if cds are the cool thing to do now so i went with the sony the the playstation the playstation one and um i don't regret that even even to this day i don't i don't regret choosing the playstation and um I loved it. It was it was fantastic. Um, I remember the very first game that I got um, was um, Metal Gear Solid, the first one, and um, I was subscribed to PSN or PS PSM PSM PlayStation Magazine at the time, um, and that's when they used to give away demo discs and stuff like that too. Um, with the magazine, which was awesome because that's how I found out about all the new games. Like that's how I found out about Crash Bandicoot, and um, and uh, what was that monkey game? Uh, Ape Escape, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I couldn't play that game because <laughs> my PlayStation One, I didn't have the the Dual Shock. I didn't have the, or it wasn't even a Dual Shock. It was just the whatever the um, the controller was with the joysticks. I forgot what it was called because it wasn't a Dual Shock because it didn't have a rumble pack in it. It was just joysticks. And um, I didn't have those, so I couldn't play Ape Escape because that's how you controlled the, the net, you know? So I didn't have joysticks. Um, and uh, one edition of uh, PlayStation Magazine had a full full walkthrough. Like, a, just it was, it was an actual strategy guide for Metal Gear Solid in a magazine that you get per month. And you can, you'll never get that nowadays. Never. You have to buy the Prima guide or you have to go buy the other guide that I don't even know the name of or something like that. It's, it's incredible. Like the, the way you received entertainment back in the day was just so much more cool as a kid. Um, now you can look up and go to game facts and stuff like that and look up uh, a guide and, and, you know, have someone else play the game for you. Um, but back then, you would either get it uh, a guide for um, for your game in um, a magazine. Uh, you could buy strategy guides back then. There was strategy guides. A lot. There was a lot of cheap books too, like um, books that have a bunch of codes in it. I remember. I think Terry got me a book of like two thousand games or something like that of cheat codes for like two thousand games. Um, for one of my birthdays, I don't, I don't remember. Um, and, uh, I always thought that was pretty cool, but <laughs> even as a kid, I realized, you know what? I don't have 2000 games. <laughs> I don't, I don't have most of these games that these people, uh, put in this book. So I only ever used it for like two or three games, but anyways, it was still cool. So, um, thanks Terry. You know, I, I, I don't know what happened to that book. I think I got rid of it eventually because... Uh, cheat codes stopped existing in games. Uh, so yeah, I went uh, PlayStation. Didn't have a N64, so I never played any of the N64 Zeldas, or uh, I didn't. So that means I didn't progress to the GameCube either, because I ended up uh, getting a PS2, and then 
halfway through the PS2 or I don't know when the Xbox, the original Xbox came out, I went Xbox because I was like, man, this is cool. It's black and green and it looks all epic and stuff. And um, so I got the Xbox and uh, that's that's who I've been with since then was the Xbox. I stopped going PlayStation and um, that's not to say that I haven't owned PS3s. I, when I worked at Game Crazy a long time ago, I, I you know, I wanted to stay up to date with all the games and stuff, so I had an, uh, um, all the systems, actually. I mean, so, um, I was, I always had access to them, and so I've, I've had my, um, PlayStation Network name for a while now, um, and, uh, I'm excited to go back to PlayStation 4 because I feel like it fits our group's, um, interests more mainly because um and and microsoft is doing a lot of backpedaling right now with the x-bone um so i guess it, it's not a big difference anymore they, they sort of meshed it together like the x-bone is no longer unique it's um it's the drm is removed uh, they just released um publishing support like self-publishing support so indie developers are now sort of back in the game and apparently all Xbox ones are can also be dev kits um, like you can make games on them just by buying it you know and there might even be a pay decrease or a, a um, not pay decrease a, a price decrease for the Xbox one so I, the Xbox one is 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 slowly become no longer becoming unique in itself and it's it's kind of went back to the older ways which is good and bad because I saw where the Xbox was going. It was trying to innovate, and um, unfortunately, you can't just straight up innovate like they were doing. Um, hmm. Wood. Nope. Why did I replace it with stone? That's uh. Is that the room we just created? No, it's the hallway here. Um. Which, uh, I, yeah, again, I respected Microsoft's decision, although I didn't like it. I respected the fact that they were trying to become the future of gaming. Um, however, the way they went about doing it was so ass-backwards, excuse my language here, that, um, it came off as just arrogant. Um, like, they didn't care about the gamers anymore. Which is what it is. It's a gaming console. I know they want to be the the console that's in every living room. That's that's their goal. They want to be in everybody's living room. They want to be the console that you use for your TV, your entertainment choices, your music to choices. They want to be your entertainment console. Um, and that's what it's become. It's become an entertainment console. It has. It's no longer a gaming console, which is... Um, really what fueled them to where they are right now and I still still feel that the appropriate way to have approached this is to have a dedicated gaming console um, one that doesn't have all the bloatware and the and the TV crap that us gamers don't want we don't we're not connected we don't have cable TV uh, some of us have cable TV I'm, I'm making Assumptions here. I don't have cable TV because I, I, I consume all of my entertainment online, which is honestly where the future is going. Um, so, um, if they would have released a different version of the Xbox as a uh, a cheaper one as a gaming console, just gaming, you know, might be a little bit of music stuff in there because, in all honesty, that wouldn't be in terror then it's terribly difficult to do you already did it with the xbox 360 um no one uses it for music anyways uh if you do you're 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 a rare breed um and uh so yeah i think the the appropriate solution would have been okay here's the 500 hundred dollar console it's an all-in-one entertainment extraordinaire crazy uh, box but then release a $300 gaming version or even 400 you know 400 i yeah you know 400 is still a lot of money the ps4 is $400 um however 
it would have been so much better for them. There, there, there would have been zero backlash. Um, even if their gaming console still said requires connect. And it, it, the thing is, is like, apparently it doesn't require connect at all. They're just trying to put a connect in. They're trying to push forward to that hands-free voice activation future thing that if I still want to press a button, let me press a button and not have to have the voice activation thing. That's, that's the thing. And how, you know what, guys? How long has this episode been going for? Because I'm, I'm just going to talk about this for like another hour, and that's going to be terrible. Um, so here, give me a second. I'm going to check how long this clip has been. <laughs> so we're at <laughs> just over 40 minutes of me uh, blab, 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 blabbling along. And uh, I think my creativity has actually kind of suffered for it because, I mean, what what, what was this? Is this? This just shouldn't exist, you know? Um, and this is kind of kind of iffy. I'm going to have to try to fix that. Maybe we'll take it out here. That's a bit better. And then um, we can close that off. Okay. Eh, that's a little bit better. I'll I'll see if I can't come up with something. Um, actually, what if we put? Eh, that's not so bad. Uh, do I see that on the other side? I sure do. Um. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this hardcore. This was um. This was a very interesting one. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, opinions about things, and, and sometimes I get carried away, as you all should know by now. Unless you're new, well, you can probably expect more stuff like this if you are new. But if you liked it, make sure to subscribe, and there's going to be plenty more of it. Because I feel like my hardcore series is more of my time to connect with all of you guys and probably complain about a little stuff. A little, a little stuff, no, lots of little things or a big thing. Um, anyways, I'm going to go. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Or even leave a lovely comment for me to read. In all honesty, it was a ton of fun to read through 200 or so comments. In the last video, these normally get about 50 to 70. So um, going from that to having like a huge list of things to go through, it was, it was a ton of fun. So I do um, encourage you to express your feelings comments questions even um you know if this if you guys want to make this sort of a back and forth of q a every now and then i'm perfectly fine with that um because it has been a long time since i've done sort of a q a video um i did it a long 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 time ago and i haven't done one since um i just sort of assume that you guys kind of know where i'm going and what i'm doing and where my mind's going but in all honesty i don't even know where it's going i should have ended this video two minutes ago but i'm still going so, um, again, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, it makes me smile. And um, I'll see you guys uh, Wednesday.